So guys, we're out here with my 2002 Ford Explorer. It's a it's a 4.0 liter with uh, flex fuel, but my mass airflow sensor connector that broke it for like years. I had soldered it a long time ago. Kept wanting to replace it. I had a new connector, and I just keep forgetting about it because it. Oh look at that! That one just broke. So it hasn't caused me any issues. It's been like this for years. But here's the new connector. Let me make sure that this is the right one. Just plug it in. But yeah, we're gonna get this wired in. Let's see, so this is the gray one. Let me try to quick do this. Here, I make a video of it. I think you guys will be able to see fine. Yeah, I'll move you up a little bit. There you go. Let's see if we can quick do this and get this done. I moved this connector around several times in my truck. I'm like, well, I think today is a good day to finally fix it. I think we'll cut this back farther because I didn't want to strip too well. There we go. Get some heat shrink. I'm using marine heat shrink. So it has a glue in it. I really can't believe though that me soldering this years ago has lasted this long. It's been like five years. I think two of the wires broke right at the... Right at the connector. my little soldering gun. Why does that look really dark? Oh, there we go. Hopefully the window is too bad out here. That was the thing I fixed my mic. There was a uh, there's something in the microphone port, so hopefully it doesn't do that annoying noise canceling anymore. Next one. What color is the next one? Let me get another pair. Of Guys, see you okay? The sun keeps coming in and out. Okay, so this will be the purple wire. Still one at a time.
that one. Almost forgot the heat shrink. Oh guys, I just realized something. Does this have one more color? No, this is a six bar. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm blind. Too much going on. Chances we mix a wire up or if we get heat shrink. This one, and then we got one more. Solders nicely. Let's go to the last one. Man, this wind's ridiculous. 
ridiculous today. Turn my soldering gun down. I had it at 750 degrees and then I turned it down. Yeah, I think that's what it was. It's so windy out here today. There we go. Slide these up. Heat this up and then maybe I'll put some Tessa tape on it. See the glue starting to come out of it. One thing you won't be seeing me doing is using butt connectors, like the crimp on ones. Or scotch locks or anything else that's stupid unless doing something that's completely temporary because other stuff has to be replaced. There we go. Let's get some testing. Guys, got some tested tape. Oh, did it just get really dark? There we go. Let's do this. Whenever I tape something, I usually try to do like a half coverage, like you overlap by 50%. Doesn't always work, but it's usually what I try to do. There we go guys, look at that fanciness, a lot better than this thing, you can see where they broke before, they broke like pretty much flush, I soldered these like in there and then I put liquid electrical tape on, they never corroded or anything, but hopefully you guys like this, see you later.